Tim, you suggested this one. I think we're all interested in your perspective from the Republican side, but also from your work on how did this country get to the state of gridlock we are in, in Washington, if not elsewhere? There are, I think, a number of reasons for it, but first of all, good morning, and thank you for being here as part of this uh, session. Um, Nate Silver, who's, I think, one of the most respected uh, predictive analytics uh, experts in the country and who's a presenter here at the conference did a assessment of the 435 districts in the United States Congress and concluded that only 35 of the 400 are truly swing districts mathematically. That in other words, the objective statistical political outcome in the other 400 districts are almost certainly pre-baked absent a tidal wave election. So if you're in one of those 400 districts, your main concern about getting reelected isn't winning the general election. It's a concern about whether somebody's going to outflank you further to the right or further to the left in, in the process what's known as getting primary. Somewhat new development. It's not brand new, but it's certainly more pronounced and concentrated than ever before. Even within the 35 that he considers swing districts, he says 17 or so of the people in those 35 districts are personal ideologues. So even though their districts are swing, they're personally ideologues. So there's maybe 20 people in the entire Congress that would be in a situation where they'd be swing. The reason that's significant is everybody now, not everybody, magnified by cable television, you get rewards not by compromising, but you get rewards and security by polarizing.